Hey y'all, uh, Mr. Tim's here. This is video for the follow-up one year later, Paul Ram Chalet greenhouse that I put up last year. So uh, let's go on in and I'll give you kind of the update of what happened over the year. Now I've just been in with the broom. You can see there I've been cleaning up, um, moving things around, um, getting ready for winter. So uh, a lot of things I have in here, they don't need to be um, kept from cold. But uh, I just like having everything in here that I'm trying to grow and pot and, and uh, shape and things like these crepe myrtles. I'm trying to shape these. Um, I've got some asparagus over in the pot there um, and just some stuff that I didn't need in my yard kind of here and around. Um, things I'm playing with, uh, like I'm grafting some of these cactuses and stuff and some of these mesquite trees that I've got from Arizona I'm growing. Um, that one I'm pretty proud of. It's, it's getting pretty good there. So... Um, you know, there's a, here is my, um, uh, hand truck that I'll use and not too far from now, it'll start to get the frost. So over there on the patio, I've got some palms and I've got, uh, banana trees and, and elephant ears and things and, uh, hibiscus, uh, mandevillas that I like to keep in here. And so I'm just making some room for that. So here's what happened over the year, uh, over the summer. It got very, very hot in here. Um, and I only had one automatic vent over here um, and, and none over here. So as you can see, I had this one closed, but it was getting so hot in here, I just went ahead and took this off. So things that were happening, I think during the wind in the spring, and this panel came out, this it flew out. And I think, let's see, uh, this panel here flew out because of uh, wind coming through here from the this field back here. That's a soybean field So the wind was coming through here hard and I think it was hitting on this. So um, Some of the things that I probably need to do in preparation for next year is um, Go in you can see where it's kind of bent right through there a little bit. I'm gonna go in and and just put some stuff um, In the cracks there to kind of put a little more pressure on these panels so they won't fly out Um the doors have done excellent. I've propped them open. I've put heavy things in front of them. Um, nice rock right there. And uh, not had one problem through hurricanes, through all sorts of stuff. Um, no problems at all. Not had much problems with things falling and, and collecting on the top. Um, I have had a couple of these, these water spouts uh, come off and I've had to refix them, but nothing bad uh, happened. Look at this big giant cricket right here. Yep. <laughs> so, um, I did have some tomato plants in there, um, and one that's sitting, sitting over here, um, still got a red tomato on it over there. I did have those in there. I just pulled them up. I had them kind of growing on the side over here. They didn't do that great because, uh, insects weren't getting in there to pollinate and I didn't have the right self pollinating type. So, um, overall, let's see, the floor has held up. Okay. So yeah, the floor um, has got some spots where I've had pots on them. Now I had a water system. I added some old uh, old stuff that I had around from previous garden systems that I had. Uh, this is like the Mr. Mister um, system. Huh. Look at that little fish. Hi, Tiny. Hey, Tiny. Well, he's a magical light-up Tiny boy. Ben's GF must be outside. He's out there yeah. running in circles. Also, 
the panel itself would fly out um, with the wind when you had it propped up with their with their uh, regular one. So you can see I got it just kind of stuffed over here. So um, this one stayed up, did a pretty good job of staying in. I've got a like a piece of um, uh, uh, th this right here. It's for screens, um, uh, spline. The so um, that fits in there and holds that uh, joint together, so it makes it operable. So um, just getting ready for winter, and uh, overall, I'm very happy with it. It still looks good a year later. Um, you know, it could use it could stand to washing, but it's it still looks good and it's very functional and very happy with it. So, if y'all got any questions or comments, give me a shout. Have a good day. Bye.